Hey everyone, the E-Bike Cowboy here, and for today's mod video, I'm going to show you how to put an ammo box on your bike, which was completely my idea. What do you mean it was your idea? Yeah, 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 just get back to work, mechanic. Mechanic? I'll mechanic you. <laughs> anyway, on to the video. Now we can be friends again. Hey guys, so I got this ammo box, it's from Sheffield, uh, so I can have more storage on my bike and also to lock up more important stuff on it, such as like my wallet and my bike alarm. You can get this, on. it's from, made by Sheffield, surprisingly it's made in the States, it goes between $9.99 and $15.99 depending on what color you get, the link to where you can get it will be down in the description below. Hi, well the... How we got this was we had seen a video on YouTube of a gentleman. He didn't have a juice bike. It was more of a, you know, bicycle conversion, but he had made a little rack and he had hung little ammo cans on either side, kind of like saddlebags. We had an older ammo can, a little plastic one, and we got to thinking, hey, that would probably fit there since we've shortened our seats. And it did. so. Then we started looking for a little better made one. And like Shane said, the company's name is Sheffield. And this one is 11 and a quarter inches long by seven inches tall and five and a half inches wide. The one thing, it had different ways. You can lock it on either side up here, or when we got it, it also had this little locking piece slipped up there and then you could, you know, lock the, the lever. But we didn't want anything sharp pointing back at us right you know point back to the seat so to take that off all you had to do is you can just kind of lift back with this and that comes off and then this you've got to wiggle it and it'll slide out and then you just put this back on and then you know you can still latch it but the you can put a lock on either side through the little locking holes. Um, the next thing we're going to do is just so you don't have that rattling around, we're going to take and just cut this with like a hacksaw real slow and then once it breaks in half it'll come off and even the holes where this is is sealed from the inside so there's nothing that can leak water in this thing completely sealed. And the only thing we'll end up having to do is drill two holes in the bottom to go through the brace on the frame, which is already there and drilled. And then we've got a couple stainless steel bolts and washers to put it on. So we'll do that and then show you the, you know, what it's like. This box in white was $9.99. A couple dollars worth of stainless steel, you know, bolts and nuts. And um, so real easy upgrade. We did cut our seats. We'll show that on another video. So um, we'll do this and then we'll be right back. So these seats by Juice usually take six bolts to hold it onto the frame. But since we shortened it, we only need the four, which makes it a lot easier. So we're gonna put the box on here and then underneath we'll sharpie it whereabouts they meet with these holes. Then we'll drill the holes in the box and then we'll put some bolts in the holes so they can mount up together. Okay, let's go on. So here we are. Here's how it looks now with the little ample box. Check out how heavy duty it is. Oh, there's dad messing with the drill. Okay, so there's, now you can put a lock there and you can have any of your stuff. This is the alarm for my bike. I just gonna keep it in here, this lock box. And you could stuff a lots of stuff in there. I mean, look how deep that is. I can fit my whole hand in there. Oh, you can also buy some of this. This is what they use to lay out their little toolboxes to keep the tools all nice and looking good. You can just cut a little, measure it, cut a little strip out and put it in the bottom here and just super gorilla glue it to here. Yeah, but there's not that much and there's enough that you could do a double layer or whatever you want. It's just for craftsman 
that's the liner for the bottom of Craftsman toolboxes. So you just buy it in a roll. We, I bought this at um, Lowe's. And just take and cut it if you want it a little thicker. You can just cut two pieces, glue them together, and then glue them down to the bottom. And that's all you need. And then that'll keep things from rattling around in there. Okay. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, just so for a little more in deep because I time lapsed it for you guys, uh, just in case you want a little more explained better. So, what we did was we set the box on the bike to, and to find out where it was. Then we sharpied, uh, I don't know if you can see that uh, around here. Uh, yeah. We sharpied around where that point meets, where the two holes meet, or where, where they are going to meet. We sharpied that spot in on both sides. And then after that, you want to drill it. Uh, I don't know why I showed you that area. You want to drill it. Drill where you have the Sharpie, and then come back, put the bolt on to see how it would look there. And then once you get that, measure the other side of where it would be, sharpie it, drill a hole, and then start putting the bolts on into the holes. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider to subscribe. And if you have any questions for us, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I can't wait to try out my bike with this box. So see you guys later.